as researchers say Americans are having fewer babies than ever before. Could misperceptions about fertility be part of the cause? Well, Dr. Lisa, Lisa Hansard with Texas Fertility Center joins us today to talk about that issue. So, Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. In Thanks studio. for having me. I know you've been. She was telling me off before we started rolling, guys. She was so busy. So, really, thank you for My pleasure making this here. a part of your day. Uh, but first off, how big was this decline in birth rate? We're at a 30-year low. Wow. So the birth rate's been dropping for the past seven years. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been mostly because women are starting to have babies much later on. Okay, and what are some of the biggest myths about fertility and, and infertility? Well, the, there's a lot of myths. One of the biggest myths is that women think they can get pregnant just whenever they decide they're ready to, that it's gonna be very easy as long mm -hmm. as they're healthy. But the truth of the matter is, we really do have a biological clock. And as we get older, the number of eggs that we have and the quality of the eggs that we have start to decline pretty dramatically. So obviously taking that into account, what are some other things people can do to kind of tackle those misconceptions? Obviously go see, go see you and talk about their well, options. Well, I think one of the most important things is to really start talking about it. Start having those conversations about your health, about fertility, start planning how many children do we want to have because if you're starting your family much later on then but you ideally want to have two children it may be very very difficult if not impossible to have a second child if you're starting really late so the recommendation is if you go 12 months without becoming pregnant if you're under 35 you ought to seek assistance from a fertility specialist. And what might be your advice for people who maybe they're getting discouraged by that, maybe they're not you know, getting pregnant when it's something that they've been trying for? It's always, always appropriate to have the conversation and start looking into just diagnostic testing to see if there really is a problem because there are some things that are so easy to evaluate and treat. Well, Dr. Hansard, thank you so much for My joining pleasure. us in the studio and telling us all about it. I know there's a lot of people who are very appreciative of all these tips, so thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Of course. And guys, if you happen to just catch the tail end of this interview, no worries. It's going to be posted on our website, kvu.com, right after the show.